Rodrigo Duterte Fast Facts Here is a look at the life of Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte. Personal birth date. March 28, 1945 Birthplace. Masin, Southern Late Philippines Birth Name. Rodrigo Roa Duterte Father. Vicente Duterte, Lawyer and Politician Mother. Solided, Roa, Dudert, Teacher Marriage. Elizabeth Zimmerman, Annulled in 2000, Children. With Elizabeth Zimmerman. Paolo, Sebastian and Zara, with Hanila Devanzana. Veronica Education. Lyceum of the Philippines University, BA 1968, San Beda College, JD 1972 Religion. Roman Catholic Other Facts Dudert was mayor of Davao City for seven terms in 22 years, although not consecutively. His father was the governor of Unified Davao and a member of President Ferdinand Marcos's cabinet. Dudert's daughter, Sarah Dudert, is the mayor of Davao City. Once compared himself to Adolf Hitler, saying he would kill millions of drug addicts. Cursed Pope Francis for traffic problems caused by the Pontus visit to the Philippines. For decades, he has allegedly been tied to death squads in Davao City. Has declared that he will urge Congress to restore the death penalty by hanging in the Philippines. Timeline 1977-1986 Special Counsel and then City Prosecutor of Davao City. 1986-1988 Vice Mayor of Davao City. 1988-1998 Mayor of Davao City. 1995 After floor contemplation, a Filipino domestic worker is hanged in Singapore for murdering her co-worker in 1991, Dudert leads protesters in burning the Singapore flag. 1998 to 2001 becomes a congressman representing Davao City's first district. 2001 to 2010 mayor of Davao City. April 6, 2009, Human Rights Watch publishes the findings of its Davao Death Squad investigation, scrutinizing more than two dozen killings that occurred in 2007 and 2008. Findings show no direct link to the killings in Dudert, but do provide evidence of a complicit relationship between government officials and members of the DDS. May 24, 2015, he vows to execute 100,000 criminals and dump their bodies into Manila Bay. April 2016 Dudert comes under fire after making a controversial comment during a campaign rally about a 1989 prison riot that led to the rape and murder of a female missionary. According to a CNN Philippines translation of the video, he says, they raped her, they lined up to her. I was angry she was raped, yes that was one thing. But she was so beautiful, I thought the mayor should have been first. What a waste. His party issues an apology, but Dudert later disowns it. May 30, 2016, the Philippine Congress officially declares Dudert the winner of the May 9 presidential election, after the official count is completed. June 30, 2016 takes office as president. August 5, 2016 In a speech, he claims he told U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry that U.S. Ambassador to the Philippines Philip Goldberg is a gay son of a bitch. September 7, 2016 Duterte and U.S. President Barack Obama meet briefly in Laos while attending the yearly Association of Southeast Asian Nations Summit. The two were scheduled to meet prior for bilateral talks regarding the South China Sea, but Obama cancelled their meeting as Duterte's fiery rhetoric escalated. September 15, 2016 A witness, Edgar Matabato, testifies before a Philippine Senate committee, claiming he is a member of Duterte's alleged Davo death squad and that the Philippine president gave orders to kill drug dealers, rapists and thieves. The committee was set up to probe alleged extrajudicial killings in the three months since Duterte became president. October 4, 2016 The Philippines and the United States begin joint military exercises in Manila for what Duterte claims will be the final time under the decade-long landmark Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. October 20, 2016 Duterte announces at the PH China Trade and Investment Forum, in this venue I announce my separation from the U.S., militarily, but not socially, and economically. November 29, 2016 and Nine members of Duterte's security team are injured after their convoy is hit by an explosive device in advance of a planned visit by the president to Marawi City. December 12, 2016 admits to killing suspected criminals during his time as mayor of Davao City. November 9, 2017 Ahead of APEC meetings with regional leaders, Duter tells a group of Filipino expatriates in the central Vietnamese city of Da Nang that he stabbed someone to death when he was 16. November 13, 2017, U.S. President Donald Trump and Duterte briefly discussed human rights and the Philippines' bloody war on drugs during their closed-door conversation, the White House announces. 
however, the spokesman for Duder tells reporters that human rights did not arise during the meeting. February 8, 2018, the International Criminal Court, ICC, says it is opening a preliminary examination of the situation in the Philippines regarding extrajudicial killings. The examination will analyze crimes allegedly committed in the context of the War on Drugs campaign, specifically since July 1, 2016. Dudert's spokesman tells reporters that the president welcomes this preliminary examination because he is sick and tired of being accused of the commission of crimes against humanity. December 5, 2018, the ICC reports that they have a reasonable basis to proceed with the preliminary examination into the alleged extrajudicial killings of thousands of people since July 1, 2016. March 17, 2019 The Philippines officially leaves the ICC. The action, taken after a 12-month waiting period required by ICC statute, follows an initial announcement made March 14, 2018. October 5, 2020 Dudert reveals he has a chronic neuromuscular disease. In a speech in Moscow, he tells a crowd of Filipinos living in the Russian capital, he had myasthenia gravis, which he describes as a nerve malfunction, reports CNN Philippines. March 12, 2020 Dudert places Metro Manila under community quarantine from March 15 to April 14 to contain the new coronavirus, COVID-19, spread in the metropolis. March 23, 2020 The Senate, in a 12-0 vote, approve a bill declaring the existence of a national emergency and granting Dutert additional powers to address the COVID-19 crisis. The additional powers will remain in effect for at least three months or until the state of calamity in the entire country is lifted. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.